Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for Aries for the month of February. All right, so I'm going to use my Game of Thrones deck again and I'm going to let one card fall out of Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. All right, if you're new to my channel, um, what I do is I typically I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. All right, I am a clairsentient, which means that when I do a private reading or personal reading, I do it based on thought and feeling, sorry, feelings and emotions. So I pick up your emotions, the emotions of the people you're inquiring about, and that is how I do my readings. Okay, they're called energy readings, and I do, I take out my tarot cards. All right, so the, the spread that I'm going to use is called the Ultimate Love Tarot Spread. All right, I'm going to give it a go. It's a new one that I found online. So um, we're going to see how that goes. I'm, I'm going to also put it out there that this might be the last month that I do the monthlies. Nobody's watching them. And I don't mean like, because people are watching them. I only get like 230, 280 views. I don't know what's going on. So I don't know if it's benefiting anyone, me putting these monthlies out. I don't know if anyone's watching. Okay, so if you guys want me to continue to do the monthly readings, put a comment underneath and say, please continue. Or if, if you don't say anything, then I just assume you don't want to. Okay, or want me to. So, all right. Okay, so I will shuffle till one card falls out and see what comes up. So reading energy, I'm pretty on about that okay I'm usually I would say that um, I'm usually about 90% um, correct when it comes to doing an energy reading I pick and pick up people's um, personalities really really easily okay it's like I it's not that I become that person but I pick up their emotions and their feelings so if they're in love with you I can feel like th that person is in love all right okay what are the messages for Aries for the month of February. Messages for Aries for the month of February. All right. What are the messages? Aries for the month of February. Aries, month of February. Aries, month of February. Aries for the month of February. messages for Aries for the month of February and this is not going to resonate with everyone out there it's going to resonate with some of you if um if it resonates with you that's great if it doesn't you can always get a private reading from me I will email you if you email me my email will be at the bottom of the video and I'll email you back within 24 hours and usually the readings once you send payment um are, are done within 48 I don't do I don't uh wait longer than 48 hours all right, I'm waiting for two more cards to fall out. All right. What are the messages for Aries for the month of February? Aries for the month of February. fell out. Aries for the month of February. I really like this Game of Thrones deck. Aries for the month of February. Sometimes it takes forever for these two cards to fall out, you know. Aries for the month of February. Two cards again. 
you know what? And I've been showing the cards as they fall out in the last month, previous months. And I forgot to do it. Sometimes I forget to do it. All right. So this spread is, um, the way it's going to work is what you want, what they want, what you need, what they need, how you see them and how they see you. And the middle card is the forces between you, the good or bad. Okay. All right. So this card, the 10 of swords comes out as in what you want. You want an ending to something that's going on right now in your life. All right. So um, the 10 of swords is typically about, it's a complain, a complete and painful ending. It's like hitting rock bottom. So this card can talk about how you want this to be over. Either this pain that you're you're being caused by somebody you just want to get over it and you're almost there because tens are endings of a cycle so whatever it is that you want um with out of the relationship perhaps is um this this to be over this pain this this ending you need it to be completely done all right so you need um, this relationship to be done. All right. Okay. All right. So what they want out of the relationship. All right. So here we have three of spears. I'm just going to go to my where's the spears people. All right, so what do they need out of the relationship? All right, they there's this is about manifestation. It's success. They're looking for success out of this relationship. You are very close to your destination, and you, your wish is manifesting now. This three reveals success and self-expression to dreams beginning to take form. Now, they're very close to their destination, and they're very close to um, having their wish like it's manifesting. Okay, so you need this pain and suffering of some sort to be over. All right, whatever there is, whatever it is that they are doing, it looks like they are looking out um, to see the ships are on the water and the ships are coming in or leaving. All right, they're waiting for their ship to come in. I don't know if this person is interested in you. So you kind of, it's like they haven't walked away. So it's like walk away already. I need you to walk out of my life if you don't want to be in my life is what these cards are saying. So he's kind of looking away from you, back is turned and looking at what's out there that may be better. Okay. All right. Then this card represents what you need. Here's the five of swords. All right, so the Five of Swords talks about All right, the Five shows loss and even humiliation in a war of words and there is an edge of cruelty too as your opponents seem to take pleasure in your defeat. The card can signify fighting with institution, with families at work or with an other group situation. All right. What do you need? You need a, you need explanations. You need, like, this is about fighting. You need to hear from this person what they want from you. All right? You need to hear, uh, I believe, because you're waiting for this to pretty much be, be over. It's like there's no communication, right? So it's like, it's a war of words. You know, um, maybe there's no communication here and you need to hear from this person. So you can kind of either, like, have it out have it done and over with because it's like you're waiting and it's causing you a lot of a lot of a lot of um pain but you're almost there you're done okay all right now this card talks about what they need all right so here we have the king of cups this king of cups represents someone who's tolerant and empathetic all right have you been tolerant and empathetic with this person? All right. They're needing perhaps more empathy from you 
Let's see what the situation calls for, talks about as far as the King of Cups. And the King of Cups says, all right, in a situation, take a balanced view in order to heal a dispute. Also be reassured that you can manage your emotion when the pressure is on. All right, what does he need from you? Perhaps to manage your emotions. All right, maybe there's too much fighting going on here. Um, you need, maybe there's not enough. All right, this person might not want to talk to you because your emotions are not balanced. All right, but there also needs to be communication. This card is saying there's communication that needs to go on. All right. Okay, so how you see them, all right, as that romantic, here's the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is that new love, um, it's a studious person, uh, Page of Cups talks about, okay, how do you see them? This is that new, it's a new relationship, all right, it's about fun. It's about news. It's about opportunities. I don't know if you see this person as perhaps fun. Um, brings you opportunities in some way. Um, but all you need them to offer. You want, you see them as someone that, who could be that romantic partner for you. All right. And then we have the King of Swords and how they see you. Okay. And the King of swords all right so the king of swords when applied to a situation the card stands for mind power decision and justice his arrival in a reading often means that an intense work phase is almost done it's about ambition decision order and justice how do they see you okay so do you do they see you as someone who could be ambitious who wants order, justice, okay? And then we have the energy that's between the two of you, all right? These are the forces, good or bad, all right? So it's the Hierophant. This Hierophant is about, um, uh, Hierophant is usually about structure. The Hierophant is about um, tradition, it's religion, it's ceremony, it's fitting in, um, Perhaps you're, you're rigid and don't want um, to bend, okay? So this person is looking um, for better opportunities, all right? And I think you're, it's like this card is saying you're just waiting for this to be over. You feel like you just want this to be over, what you need, it just to be over, okay? Because you kind of feel like you kind of hit rock bottom with this person. All right. Okay, so I'm going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. What are the messages for Aries for the month of February? Pay attention to the red flags. Okay, the signs are cautioning you. All right. So there's the reading for all you Aries out there. Um, again, if you're interested in a private reading, email me and I will get back to you within 24 hours and readings are within 48. All right. Again, let me know if you want me to continue doing these monthlies or not. All right, everyone. I hope you have a great month of February and I will um, talk to you next month. Okay. Bye-bye.